Go, Johnny, go! Flames fans hope not. Hey, hockey fans, welcome back. Welcome in if this is your first time to the channel. I'm Josh, this is the Hockey Flow, and tonight, it's Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. No game tonight, Avs Oilers uh, wrapped up early, so we uh, we had some other stuff to talk about. We're going to talk about Johnny Gaudreau a lot tonight, so if you're a fan, buckle in. You're going to enjoy the episode. But first, we got a couple of headlines to get to on Today in Hockey. Then we'll go ahead and we're going to get caught up with yesterday's IIHF uh U18 Women's World Championship scores. Then we're going to preview tomorrow night's Game 5 Lightning Rangers. Then we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. The Athletic article deep dive. We're looking at Johnny Gaudreau. Wonderful article that looks at five potential destinations if the Flames uh, can't resign the lads. So um, if you do, do enjoy the content, take a moment, like the video, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Means a ton. Helps us out a lot as well as we're just getting started. Uh, but without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? All right, headlines first and foremost. Oiler fans, uh, I don't know, I'm a little torn on this. Um, good news is Jay Woodcroft, we do want to bring him back. Um, the uh, other news is that Evander Kane, the, the team did make a um, notice that it, that it does want to bring him back as well. There were reports that if he uh, ends up coming back, he would end up coming back with uh, starting at seven mil a year. My goodness, at that cap hit with his baggage. I know he did well this year with others fans, but let me know in the comments. Do you want Kane back? Should we uh, use that money elsewhere? We need a we need attendee, man. We we need attendee. But uh, Kane was great for us. I'll admit um, he he played really well. So um, you know, let me know in the comments what you think, Oilers fans. All right, Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, some good news maybe for tomorrow. Braden Point has not been ruled out of Game Five, so we're gonna preview that in just a moment. But that is good news, I think, for them. He did try to go ahead. Uh, um, or he, he skated earlier this week, um, fell awkwardly, but they said there were no setbacks. So good news there. All right. We do uh, have some games to get caught up from yesterday. The women are playing. We got U18 World Championships happening right now. A lot of fun. We had a big one uh, actually a couple a couple of days ago. Uh, the Finland women uh, beat Canada for the first time ever. Uh, very crazy. But the Czech Republic did beat Germany 6-2. Canada beat Sweden 3-1. They did rebound from that loss to the Finns. And then uh, Switzerland did beat Slovakia 3-1. The U.S. did beat Finland 5-0. So poor Finland. We couldn't uh, carry that momentum. But that's all right. Team USA is tough. Absolutely. All right, we got to pick tomorrow night's game. So game five, Rangers Lightning. Tell you what, I expect a bloodbath. This better be a dog fight. It's going to go to the very end. I just feel it. And I will admit, I, I bounced back and forth on this one a little bit. I did pick the Lightning to win the series, but... I'm going with the Rangers. I, I, I got to say, I think it's the home ice advantage right now. I expect the garden to just be packed, to be loud, to just be, you know, a ruckus, right? And and that is so cool to watch. That's on my bucket list, actually. Uh, let me know in the comments. You, you guys, have you been to the garden? Is that something uh, you want to check off your bucket list, too? Uh, I mean, a hockey, hockey bucket list, absolutely. But, yeah, I think the Rangers are going to win this one. Um, Igor's going to stand on his head. You know, Vassy played better last game, but I think Igor is um, going to get the best of him in this matchup. We did a video on that, uh, who rules Russia, um, and the impact that they are having over on that country right now and the future of the Tendi position. So definitely check that one out. Uh, but uh, Lightning fans, you know, don't, uh, don't take this the wrong way. I still think you guys are going to win the series. Maybe it, it needs to go to Game 7, though, right? The Avs can use a little more rest. But, all right, we're moving in. Into the article deep dive. I know this is why you're here. Johnny Gaudreau. So he has said everything right, right? He wants to stay with the Flames. He said it publicly. He would love to stay in Calgary. Calgary wants to keep him. Um, you know, it makes sense, right? He 113 points, I think it was this season. Um, just absolutely incredible season. He's an incredible hockey player. But what if he's just saying this to say it? right? I mean, you got to say the right things. What happens if he does come back? You can't be speculating on, oh yeah, well, you know, actually I did want to look elsewhere, but you guys gave me the most money. No, that's that's not going to happen. So in this article by Haley Salvian, excellent article, we look at five destinations, right? Five possible destinations. And I'll admit a couple of them. Yeah, absolutely. Off the top of my head, I would agree with them. A few others, I was like, whoa, I, I hadn't really thought of them. Um, are we just lumping them in because or, and uh, Miss um, Salvian did give some excellent reasons. So, um, Let's jump right into it. So Johnny Gaudreau is a free agent. Like I said, Flames say they want him back, but what if he wants to go somewhere else? So um, Haley Salvian did uh, broke down five teams and, and why they would be good fits and where uh, Gaudreau would fit. And we'll just get right into it. Philadelphia Flyers, this is the one, the popular choice because uh, Gaudreau is a Philly kid. Uh, or excuse me, a uh, uh, Jersey kid, so really close to Philly, that, that East Coast vibe. Um, it, it makes sense. He's also got uh, Kevin Hayes, his... Uh, 
a Boston College teammate and, and very good friend. Uh, the issue with the Flyers, though, is cap room. You know, they, they would have to move some pieces. Um, they're in a weird spot right now, too. Um, PR-wise, you know, they need a star. They need a frontline player. They just got rid of Giroux, but I know the Flyers said they don't want to rebuild, but... I don't know. That that one I'm a little torn on. I think that would just be more for the memes, if you will. Um, but it would be good. You know, Flyers fans, let me know. I'm sure you'd love to have Gaudreau on your team, unless you are wanting to lean heavily into that rebuild. But this one is the one that probably shocked me the most. I, I had never considered the Pittsburgh Penguins as a possible landing spot for Johnny Gaudreau. Um, right now, their priority, and, and uh, Haley Selvian does make this point, that they are their, their priority is to resign, re-sign Latang and Malkin, right? And that's what they need to do. They need to focus on that. Um, Hopefully get uh, get them to sign a little hometown discount, um, just like they did with Rust. I mean, if they can do that, they keep this team together for another few years. Uh, Latang still got some legs in him. I think he said he wants to play till he's at least 40, something like that. Malkin's got at least a few good years left in him. Um, I think they can make another run. Now, if Malkin does decide, you know what, I'm not taking a hometown discount, Latang does the same thing. Latang goes back to the hometown Canadians, right? then they need to replace them. They, they need to replace that, that star power. They, they need to make a splash. And if they decide to do that, Johnny Gaudreau would be a great fit. Another East Coast team, a uh, rival of the Flyers, though. So that, that is something we want to be mindful of. And again, that was my biggest shocker, but um, that would be a very big dark horse. Absolutely. Now, this one seems like an excellent fit, this next one. New Jersey Devils. And I even saw this on Twitter. Henrique mentioned it um, and asked his fans, you know, do we think this is the right move for the Devils? Um, it would be an excellent play, right? Throw them on that top line, top line winger pair him up with uh, Hughes and Jasper Bratt you're good to go second line you got Nico Heischer um, you know you've got the second overall pick too uh, check out my video top three prospects I'll leave the link down in the description along with the, the link to this article because it is excellent but uh, the Devils have a lot of really intriguing parts right now and if you could bring a star in like Johnny Gaudreau the Jersey kid I mean it almost makes too much sense right um, yeah it, it does so I'll be really curious on that one um, it's also a great position for him he can that team is in position if they can just get a few more spots and get that tendy position hammered home they could make the playoffs next year they've got a lot of talent and a lot of young talent too if some of that talent matures and and really uh, percolates into next season my goodness the the devils are a team to watch keep your eyes on them now islanders this one's cool because uh, i in in my mind uh philip forsberg is going to be an islander next year i don't know why i just i saw a tweet a while back and islander fans were into it and it's like you know what i i see that that's a great fit i think he would look uh, look great in islander blue uh, the, uh, the Islanders need a partner for Barzell. That's the thing right now, right? They they had a nice push towards the end of the year, but Barzell did not play that well. I think he only had 15 goals this year. That's that's not up to up to par. So if we can get him a, a running mate up there at the top line, I tell you what, Johnny Gaudreau on the Islanders that'd be that'd be fun to watch. But they do have cap issues as well. And the in uh, Lam Oriello did mention that the GM that cap issues that that's our thing, right? Like we we it's hard to move players. But if you move Varlamov, um, you know maybe you could get move him. So I know teams need tendies right but yeah now this last one's interesting national predators because at the beginning or towards the beginning middle of the season we were talking about oh are they even going to make the playoffs are they sellers philip forsberg he's going to get traded right well it, it never happened uh the the national predators stayed in contention the owner made it clear we can't trade forsberg or we're not going to make the playoffs they've invested in soros they have a good goalie they've um, invested in ekholm they have yossi under contract they they still have a, a couple forwards up front as well Philip Forsberg, if he if he leaves though, right, they have to replace him. And I hadn't thought of the Nashville Predators. I, I hadn't. I hadn't thought of the Nashville Predators. Um, but if if Philip Forsberg does leave and the Predators want to make a splash, they've shown they're not afraid to spend, right? That 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 uh, city is an excellent hockey city too. Talk about bucket lists. I got to hear Tim McGraw's uh, song after they score a goal in person. That that seems like just the funnest time ever. Especially being the Wyoming kid, I am right. Uh, but you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I I, I honestly. Think Johnny Gaudreau is probably going to head back to the Flames. I, I truly do. Um, I, I'm really curious, though. I would love to see, just to stir the pot, I would love to see him leave. Um, he would be a great fit on that Devils team, I tell you what, uh, lining up on that top line. But again, let me know in the comments, where's Johnny Gaudreau going? Flames fans, I know this is a little traumatic for you, but um, you know, sound off in the comments. Let me know. He's staying put. We're going to re-sign him. We're going to do whatever we can. But that's going to do it for the video today. We do have a giveaway going on on the channel. We're on that race to 100 subscribers. Subscribers. I absolutely appreciate you all. Um, we're just getting started. Going to keep bringing you videos daily either way because uh, I love hockey. I love talking about it. It's so much fun. We got the off season coming up, so uh, we're going to do a lot more article deep dives, a lot more speculations. I love
love talking about where players are going. Um, but again, I appreciate you all. Be sure to check out the latest videos. We did a fun one on Kale McCarr. I'll leave the link down in the description for you. Um, but again, until next time, cheers.